There's one special MDOT MTA bus operator who gives his best and more. He takes the average transit ride and turns it into a Baltimore history lesson. Let's take a look at a trip, or should I say class, with operator Juarez Lee Shelton. Straight ahead of us and to the left is the B&O Railroad Museum. Baltimore and Ohio Railroad was the very first organized passenger carrier railroad in the United States. As the name suggests, it carried people from the East Coast, Baltimore, to the Midwest, Ohio. If you look one block over, you will see the famous Baltimore Basilica. Baltimore Basilica is a national landmark as it is it was the first Roman Catholic cathedral constructed in the United States. Members of the Roman Catholic faith were indeed a persecuted minority in this country uh, before the uh, American Revolution, and in some places afterwards as well. This is the end of the 80 line. Directly down President Street, about four blocks, is the Baltimore Civil War Museum. One specific fact about Baltimore and the Civil War that most Americans have no idea of. 1861, General Benjamin Butler arrived here under orders to secure the city. Secure the city, and that was it. However, once he arrived under the cover of darkness and in the midst of a fierce thunderstorm, he took his troops atop a federal hill. Once there, he established a massive fortification armed with about 70 cannons aimed all around the hill, pointing at all directions of the city. The purpose of this was two. First, to keep Baltimore, and obviously by the same token, the state of Maryland in the Union, and to dilute the massive amount of pro-Confederate sympathy in this city. Both uh, objectives were accomplished by Butler's Fortress, and there is a lone cannon on Federal Hill to this day which testifies to that great period. What do you enjoy the most about just driving the bus? I'm a huge people person. Interacting with people is inessential for me. There's no way I could do anything where I was totally closed off from people. So interacting with people, teaching people, expanding minds is what I love to do.